Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about squint. Have you seen your eyes, child's eyes to be squinting anytime? If yes, please do listen to this very carefully. Squint or strabismus means to look obliquely. Okay, so you can see there is a visual axis of our eyes. Okay, so what is a visual axis? If we look at an object, so the point, uh, the line touching the object, my pupil and my retina, okay, and forming a clear image on my retina, that is a visual axis of one eye. So, in case of strabismus, what is happening? The primary lines of sight does not meet at a point. So, the right eye primary lines of sight and left eye primary lines of sight is not meeting at a point. Why? Because you can see here, in this image you can see, the right eye is deviated towards the nasal side. So that's why the eye has turned towards the nasal side. So, this primary line of sight has now deviated from the, uh, deviated and is not meeting the fixation point. That's the reason I am having a double vision. Okay. So, this is this condition is called a strabismus or a squint when the two primary lines of sight does not meet at the object point. So strabismus can be latent or a manifest deviation. Latent deviation means uh, when there is a deviation, okay, but with my good fusional abilities, I am able to fuse these two images into one. Why? Because my eyes can maintain the fusion and with that uh, with my attempt i am going to i am going, i'm able to fuse the two images that is a latin screen so that is not seen means if i am having a latin screen you cannot recognize that you i am having a latin screen what is a manifest screen that ha, that is very much that you can see by your eye itself means a person having a manifest screen you can able to you uh, you are able to identify the person is having screen so what is that when my fusional abilities is not uh, able to uh, like able to balance and maintain fusion so there is a deviation and with my fusional abilities i cannot uh, fuse the two images that is a manifest deviation so, constant or intermittent deviation of the visual axis of the one eye from the point of fixation. So, you can see here, the right eye is having squint. The figure, the right eye is having squint. So, the right eye has deviated and it cannot, it has, the visual axis is missing the fixation point. So, this is a manifest squint, okay. So, when to intervene? Is your baby safe? That is a very important question. So, have you seen your eyes, baby's eyes to be crossed any time? Okay. See, children cross their eyes. We have seen they will look and they will uh, cross their eyes and try to grab something or something. So, but when to, when to consult an eye care professional? Okay. So, this is a case you can see. This child eyes, this child eyes are towards the nose. You can see both the eyes are towards the nose. So, the child may be having a bilateral squint. Okay. Here in this child, you can see the right eye is towards the nose. It is not straight, but the left eye is straight. So, definitely the child is having a manifest squint. Please do consult a doctor. Do not delay. Okay, this is a convergent squint we have seen. Now, this is a divergent squint. So, what is a divergent squint? Uh, when the child eye is deviated towards the lateral side, you can see the eye is deviated towards the lateral side. So, this is a divergent squint or an exotropia. Okay, this also when the child looks at uh, distance, you can see this kind of squint. It is very prominent at that time. Okay, so it definitely you need to intervene in case of exotropia okay also there is something called intermittent deviation what is intermittent deviation sometimes there is deviation sometimes there is no deviation means whenever the child is looking at your face there is no deviation suppose but the child is looking at distance sometimes you are seeing that the one eye is going towards the lateral side okay the one eye is missing the focus and going towards the outside means the lateral side so that is a 
intermittent speed so definitely you need to intervene at this stage why because in case of mainly in case of exotropia a manifest squint you need to intervene why because if you do not intervene the child is not fixating if your child is not fixating properly what can happen it can cause a lazy eye means suppose the right eye is having squint okay the right eye is having squint it is not getting enough uh, stimulus visual stimulus to see now what is happening the right eye the image captured by the right eye the my brain is not taking the image captured by the right eye and slowly 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 the right eye is becoming non functional so that is a lazy eye please you can do stop it developing of the lazy eye because lazy eye can be best treated within the age of 8 years okay why because uh, the vision binocular vision functions and all starts developing after 6 months of age so that is the reason so if your child is having a squint like that if you have noticed okay if you have not consulted a doctor you can also do something at home you can patch the good eye if there is a one eye squint you can patch the other eye means the good eye you can patch it like this okay you can find this eye patches in the market definitely and let the child play with the squinting eye let the child play let's give the child some task with the squinting eye so to so that the squinting eye is definitely uh acting properly to ensure that okay so if you ensure that the squinting eye is acting properly so what will happen it will prevent the occurrence of lazy eye or amblyopia in future so and also definitely consult your doctor at the earliest okay now coming to latent squint do you need to intervene a latent squint also yes if you have a uh, some symptoms if you are symptomatic definitely you need to intervene a latent squint what are the symptoms sometimes we are working in the office in the with the computer we are busy with after some time i'm feeling that my eyes are very tired i'm having an headache i'm having some double vision after working for some hours so what is happening what's wrong with my eyes i do not have power in my eyes i have checked it i do not have power or any glasses or anything so why i am getting a frequent headache or a uh blurring of vision after some times of work it strikes your mind right you need to intervene in that cases if you are symptomatic you can have an eye strain after long hours of wear while reading a book some children complain that uh, after reading for some time my vision gets blurred okay some children complain of that some child you can see your child you can find out that the child cannot concentrate while reading you may have noticed okay we may have noticed it but we have just ignored because we have thought of like that child is misguiding misleading okay but that is not the fact the child is not able to concentrate on the studies may be a cause of a latent squint which need to intervene at the earliest so do what is the solution in that do consult an optometrist go to an optometrist or an eye care professional or an orthoptist or a vision therapist so consult your eyes and come up with this problem do not delay before the problem gets exaggerated thank you